Hey everybody, welcome back to Wiredog Sec. I'm back with another video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to be covering the Practical Junior Penetration Tester exam certification, what have you. Hopefully, you're ex excited and ready to learn something. All right, let's go ahead and dive into it. Hope you guys are having an awesome day today. The Practical Junior Penetration Tester. Now, what is this? This is basically a beginner level certification when it comes to penetration testing. Hey, let's say that you're interested in pen testing. Okay, well, you don't know where to look. Well, this is a possible option that you can pursue in order to gain that knowledge and experience. And the best part about this exam is that it's hands-on keyboard. And it's not any type of CTF type of activity. As you can see here, there's no flags to capture. There's no multiple guest questions here. So you don't have to worry about that. Right, it's all going to be hands on keyboard and you learn a lot of new things or refreshers inside of the penetration testing course itself. You get two full days to complete the exam. Right. And then you get two full days to write the report and submit it. Now, let's say you get stuck somewhere. Well, you can go ahead and in the exam, type, write up the report and submit it to TCM. They'll review it and then they will provide you with a small hint of where to look next. Now the training is included, uh, prerequisites, basic computer network knowledge. Okay, you'll learn this. This you'll learn the stuff in the training course itself. All the attacks, tactics, all that stuff, right? In order to receive the certification, a student must leverage their Active Directory exploitation skills to perform a lateral and vertical network movements and ultimately compromise the exam domain controller. So whenever you uh, compromise the, the domain controller, I'm assuming that's where it ends, according to this here. Provide a detailed and professionally written report. Who is this exam right for? Anyone who wants to learn ethical hacking, right? So, like I said, if you're new to this industry, penetration testing is something you're interested in, then this could be a possible exam that you want to pursue. And it goes over some other details here. It talks about salaries, flexibility, high demand, hardware requirements. Um, I did buy a new laptop, so my hardware requirements far exceeded um, everything here so i recommend at least having this minimum um, hard requirements to have explained here experience required it says basic knowledge computers network a plus network plus equivalent you can learn that on youtube i mean just looking at professor messer's videos and then you get 25 plus hours of video training self-paced local labs practical railroad etc etc that's led by heath adams himself so be sure to pay attention to this course take good notes in there as well screenshots as needed etc etc even copy and paste some of the commands into your notes so you can use it later on somewhere. Uh, PJA PT exam details. You get one exam attempt, lifetime vouchers. You can take it anytime you want. It, it does not expire. You get a free retake. So if you fail, hey, you can take it again and you get a small hint from TCM security. Lifetime access to 25 plus hours of experience. And that's going to be that, that training course, right? And then training course, you'll learn all types of stuff as has listed out here. LLMNR poisoning, NTL relay attacks, uh, curb roasting, IP6 attacks, and more. Now, this exam and certification does focus on internal network penetration testing itself. So, you don't have to worry about any type of external pen testing stuff. And it goes on to compare it to other types of certifications in the industry out there. Go ahead and uh, review this if you want to. Uh, let's jump over to my slides where I'm going to go over the pros and cons, final thoughts, et cetera, et cetera. Before we get into it, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell, the like button, comment below, and share the video. Let's go ahead and get into it over there. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. Talk about the pros here. As I said before, this is a hands-on keyboard experience. What's that mean, folks? Well, there's not going to be any type of multiple guest questions like some other exams out there. No CTF type of activities. That means there's not going to be any type of flags you need to submit. Okay, this is going to submit a real-world internal network penetration test. That means you're going to have to get your hands dirty. It's beginner-friendly. Okay, just make sure to pay attention to the course, take good notes, and you should be in good shape. You have plenty of time to take the exam. You got two days to test, right? And you got two days to write the report. And as I said before, if you don't finish the exam in time, etc., be sure to write up the report and submit it to TCM. They'll review it to see where you're stuck at, and then they'll re uh, they'll reply with a small hint of where to look at next, or maybe some other tips. Now, in the course itself, you'll learn various different things, as it states there. Learn how to hack. Ladder movement stuff is in that course. Exploiting Active Directory is various different techniques you learn in the course that you can apply to the uh, testing environment. Um, own a domain controller, as stated on the website there. 
And on top of that, you learn a plethora of other information inside that course. The course is of high quality, so I recommend going through and reviewing that course. And then take good notes as well that you can reference when you take the exam. Now, we already talked about no multiple guess questions, no CTF type activities. Quick turnaround time for exam results. I believe I got my exam results back within 24 hours. And I completed my hands-on portion of the exam. It took me about 12 to maybe 18 hours. That's including like sleep and stuff like that. And I got it done. And I went ahead and started writing the report itself, which took me about maybe four to six hours. I had a lot of screenshots in mind. Just to be safe, I would recommend taking screenshots as needed. If you think you need a screenshot, well, go ahead and take a screenshot because you may need it on the actual report section of the exam. Now, if you fail the exam, you can write and submit the report and you'll receive a small hint in return, right? TCM is great about providing value to you. They're not here to, you know, ex extort any kind of money from you, right? They're, they're here to help you pass the exam and help, help you learn new things that you can apply to the real world. And the support is great. If you have an issue with the exam environment, you can go ahead and contact their support team and they will get back to you in a very quick manner. I mean, I'm talking about super fast, maybe within 30 minutes or so, maybe less than that. It's, it's just amazing support. Now let's move on to the next section here, cons. The only con I had was that it's not yet well known because it's a new exam. I took it a few weeks ago and I was able to pass it and I ex also earned the early adopter badge. I think that's for the first hundred people that pass this exam. You get that fancy uh, new badge that you can present to everybody. Tips, take good notes during the PH training course, right? I use Joplin for the exam itself to have everything listed out. Um, as I progress to the exam, so I can just reference it later on if I took a break or whatever. And then I use Cherry Tree for the course notes itself. Now use use whatever you you feel comfortable with and works for you. All right, that's what I recommend to everybody. Make sure everything is good working condition. All right, make sure your computer is up to date and it's going to be working. All right, T try out your computer, your tools, your VM software, etc. Before you start the exam, maybe look at everything a day before the exam starts. Make sure it's all in working condition. All right, maybe take a snapshot of your VM that's working good on one day, right? It may not work good the next day. So you can just revert back to that screen that um, you can revert back to that previous snapshot and then get to taking the exam. All right. Throughout the exam, take breaks. Okay. Don't wear yourself out. Get some good rest. Make sure to hydrate, right? If you get stuck somewhere, take a breather, go back and look at your notes, et cetera, et cetera, and then come back to the exam or maybe go take a you know, five to 10 minute walk outside, stretch your legs a bit and come back and and uh, resume the exam. Use or re create a report template. I recommend finding or creating a report template before you take the exam because you already know you're gonna have to submit a report, right? So make sure that's all squared away. It'll s help save time when writing the report. And they do provide a exam report template. That's the one I had used. I just made some s small minor, um, minor modifications to that and that's what I used to submit my report. I believe it was, I don't know, maybe 30 or so pages long. As I said before, take screenshots as needed. You're going to need those screenshots in order to provide proof or evidence inside of the report. Say, hey, I exploited this to get here or whatever. Enumerate, enumerate, enumerate. Now, if you get stuck somewhere, it may come back to enumeration. Maybe you didn't enumerate enough or maybe you need to go back and check the tool outputs. Um, maybe take a look at your ethical hacking um, methodology. Maybe there's something amiss in there. Like I said, stuck, review your notes, tool output slash results, enumerate again if needed, stuck again, take a breather. Like I said, don't wear yourself out taking this exam. Stretch your legs, go back and try again. And most important of all is to have fun during the exam. The exam is, is awesome. I, I really enjoyed this exam. It's probably one of the best exams I've ever taken in my career. Uh, closing thoughts. Is this exam right for you? Find your why. Now, why do you want to take this exam? Do you want to be an expert hacker? Do you just want to take it just, just to take the exam? I recommend taking the exam if it applies to your career or your career path of where you want to go. Like I say, you want to be a penetration tester. Okay, well, this may be a good starting spot for you to progress in, um, progress in your career. Um, excellent course and exam. As I stated before, the course is great, led by uh, Heath Adams himself. He goes through the course and demonstrates and explains everything in a very uh, good manner and you can also look at external resources i mean just because you have to 
it's because this course is designed for this exam does not mean you, you don't have to or you don't need to uh, go out and look at other resources that could be um, of value to you right but as i said before the course in itself is perfect perfect for this exam. That's all you need for the exam, but feel free to look at other resources that can help you in this exam. It could be an alternative to the EJPT or pen test plus certifications. Those are other like uh, beginner level penetration testing exams. Pen test plus is a multiple guess slash um, like grab and drop type of exam. There's no hands on keyboard typing like commands and stuff on that. You're not hacking into anything. You're just really learning about the penetration testing itself, uh, like the overall process, etc. EJPT is a hands-on certification. I, I think they recently updated that. I took the version one. I enjoyed the exam, but it was kind of capture the flag type of thing. Like the, there's multiple qu guest questions in there, but you had to go through and actually do some exploitation of the machine in order to answer those qu those uh, questions correctly. And I believe that is it, guys. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know anytime I post, and then share the video with friends. Hopefully, you found this video of value, and if you did, be sure to write a comment below. And if you have any questions, hit me up in the comment section. I'll be, do my best to answer any questions. And just note that I cannot, cannot um, tell you anything that will violate the integrity of the exam. So. Have a nice day and happy hacking.